Good morning, folks. We're coming right to spaceweathernews.com because even a rookie solar watcher, a first-time Healy observer, can tell that our fiery beast is calm at the moment. Sunspots, CMEs, filaments, all benign in their treatment of Earth thus far. And looking up at the north to the gap in the coronal particles, that is an interesting looking coronal cavity driven by the polar coronal hole in the north there. The calm is noticeable in the sequence and confirmed on the X-ray flux. No flaring to speak of. Sunspots are down to just that one northern grouping facing Earth. It's got the gamma class spreading out of magnetism from earlier, but without any real close interaction. We saw more than a week of calm shattered from February 7th through the 9th when multiple CMEs ripped away from our star and triggered that three-cyclone outbreak here on Earth in the Southern Hemisphere. But since then it has returned to calmer conditions, no CMEs of note in the last day, and when we look left to the incoming limb, we see about the best shot at significant space weather in the coming days, as we could have a few more spots coming in on the north there. Let's move over to solar wind telemetry. Hit the floor, why don't you? Streams hitting ultra-weak levels, almost like our shield was playing tug-of-war and the other guy just let go. We're between coronal holes here and between planetary alignments. It won't be long, though, and the earthquake watch must remain high. Folks, if you missed it last night, we posted August Dunning's presentation from Observing the Frontier in Phoenix at the end of January. In addition, we posted his take on a future Mars weather report. It is linked for you below, or you could just search my videos from yesterday or Google Future Mars Weather Report August Dunning. His and Tony Rango's presentations were the only ones we were able to get filmed, but our audio is getting cleaned up and should be ready to accompany the presenter's slides in just a few weeks. Dunning and Rango, up there now on the website. Folks, we have a few of our books left, also called Observing the Frontier. It's more than a hundred pages of no wasted space, just like the news. HD images, explanations, research, everything from the Earth facing quiet to chemtrails to planet X to Earth's magnetic reversal and how the sun is triggering all these things we see on Earth. If our community discusses it, chances are it's in there. Head over to otf.cells.com to get the book. You can get the hardcover copy or a digital download version in PDF form. Let's do a little review here. White is high pressure. Purple to red is low. Low pressure sucks in while high pressure pushes out and lows suck in moisture from the tropics along their pressure convergence lines. While it's on its way to the low, however, it is transformed into clouds that deliver all of our weather. So with the pressure actually numbered on windy TY, you should be able to do your own forecast, right? Right. It's 6.35 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone. Thank you.